G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Another look at the at the Quantum Diversity Receiver 5.8 GHz. Now, remember I showed you in my last video how appalling the switching was. I'm going to try and get that uh, block, block, block out that signal again like I did last time. And let's see if I can do it. There we go. That, that's an awful signal. It's not changing. Try and, it's actually such small movements here trying to get this so that it's, um, it's going to block it out. Here we go. Still picking up that crappy signal, it hasn't changed to this other receiver, and that's not good. So what I'm going to do, there is a secret menu, secret menu on these things, and I'll show you how that works. I'll turn the power off, hold down the button, put the power back on, and when you release the button, nothing happens. Did it wrong. Hang on, let's try it again. Hang on, why isn't that working? I'll do it over here. I'll use my power supply, turn my power supply off and on. Probably the easiest way. Here we go. Hold down the button, power on. There we go. It makes that horrible beeping noise. Just ignore the beeping noise because I'm going to show you what's in this menu. Right, please ignore all the beeping from this damn thing. I don't know why it does that when you're in the test mode. It's not like you're likely to forget. But we've got obviously some test there, screen, speaker, LED, menu, um, switch test. And what have we got here? Exit. I'm going to click on this one. That shut it up, didn't it? It enables you to switch between the different things. What have we got here? Oh, here we go. Confusing. The first menu option is in yellow. Oh. Um, set up the diversity level. Okay, here we go now. This is the diversity that turns on the LEDs, I suppose. If you don't have at least this much RSSI, the LEDs won't go on to show you've got a valid signal. Diversity level. Now, I think that's the amount of level required to do the switch. And diversity time, that's the killer. That's taken way too long. So let's see if we can reduce that down to one and see whether, oops, oh, this, this doesn't always work reliably, this little menu on this, little thing on this one. Let's go down to one. Let's see if that makes any difference. And we will go back. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to reset everything. Let's, there we go. Exit. Right. Let's do that test again that I did before and see if it switches more quickly this time. So here we are, I'm going to try and null out that, uh, that signal and watch for the LEDs to change. Whoa, look at that, that was quick. That was much better, so I shall try and null out the signal to this. I probably won't be able to because this is going to be, it's always going to be strong. I'll take that antenna off and we'll see what happens. Should flick back to the other one perhaps. Let's have a look. Now we've got pretty crap. Yep. Now this is switching much better now. Um, They've got a, obviously got a delay in there, so that when you get momentary transient bits of interference, it doesn't switch backwards and forwards too quickly, but it's just way, way too long. So if you've got one of these, I'm going to still try it in the field. I haven't had a chance to try it in the field yet. I'm going to just see if I can encourage it to switch again. See how quickly it switches. Come on. It's actually a bit of a job because... There we go. Look at that. That's, that was really good. So, yep, if you've got one of these, that secret menu, hold down the red button while you power it on, Change the switching time to one, and then you might get some decent diversity out of this thing. I'm going to have more of a play with it, see what, other, see what the other settings do, but as shipped, the default settings are crap, absolutely ridiculously stupid. It takes way, way too long. We're talking many seconds before it switches once one of the receivers loses the signal and the other one's still got a strong one. So I still think this is a really good device. It's just that out of the box, it's crippled by crappy default settings. So there you go. As I say, wait for the field test. I wasn't able to do it this weekend, but I will try and do it shortly. Do the field test, and we'll just make sure, because the only other thing that remains to be seen is how much flickering do you get when you get the diversity switch? Because sometimes that can be a real, if the, if the switching isn't clean, then you end up getting lots and lots of dropouts and lines every time it switches. But this, this doesn't look too bad. I've got to say, at the moment, I'll put this on here, it should change. See if you see a flicker on the screen when I, when I pull that up. And that wasn't too bad. No, we'll see what happens. So there you go, secret menu. Got questions, comments, put them in the usual place. I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, it's raining. I have to wait for the rain to stop before I can go and try this out in the field and see how that switching is. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Please ignore the really annoying beeping that's going on here. Now, we've got a menu here. The ones, the options we want to look at, oh damn, where are my glasses? Hang on.